Hi, so um, you have been wondering why my Lopox wig is quite different from every other Lopox wig you do see online. Okay, I always get this question and you guys requested for me to share a video tutorial of um, how to make this Lopox wig in detail and here we are. So guys, this is a wig cap I'll be using for this wig, okay? You can use any wig cap of your choice. I normally use dump cap, okay? But this is what I have at home. That's why I'm using it. So go ahead and grab your lace, okay? Now this lace, I'm going to just go ahead and sew it around on top of this wig cap like so, okay? I'm going to just go off camera, use my sewing machine and sew it down round like so, okay? Now guys, after sewing your lace on top of your wig cap, this is what you should have. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can use your needle and thread and sew it. But to make the work faster, I always use a sewing machine to run it through. Now, when you're done with that, put on the cap the wrong side and then cut the wig cap in that particular place you sewed your lace. Cut it off, okay, because... We need our lace to be visible and more natural, okay? So guys, after cutting off that part, this is how your wig cap should look like, okay? I'm going to just go turn it over to the right side. Turn the wig cap to the right side. And then go ahead and secure your wig cap on top of the mannequin head. Now note, guys, all the steps are very, very important. If you want your wig to come out, looking very natural and more realistic these are steps you shouldn't um omit while making this wig okay so i went ahead to grab my scissors and cut out the excess lace i won't be needing okay those part of the lace i don't need them after cutting off what i don't need this is the wig cap and the lace sitting pretty ready to be worked on okay now guys, I'm going for a side part, okay? If you don't want a part on your wig, you can skip this step, but I'll be doing a side part on this wig, okay? Now the first thing I always do while making this wig is to outline where I want my pattern to be. And to do that, this is how I do it. I use my needle and my thread and outline how I want my pattern to be. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this is to make my pattern very defined. Like, if I want a straight cut, it should be very straight and not bent. It kind of, I need it very straight. Okay, that's why I always do this. After doing this, I'm just going to go ahead, grab my scissors, <clears throat> okay? Then cut off the needle because I don't need it. Cut it off, okay? Then um, grab my T-pin, secure the thread with my T-pin so that it will move while I'm working on the wig. You get. So guys, the next step is to grab any kinky hair you'll be using. I think I use the Darling Yankee kinky hair. That's the kinky hair I always use when making this wig. Darling Yankee kinky hair because the coils are more... It have more coils than um, every other kick here I've, I've come across. Okay. So I just sew it down like so. This is a very detailed and um, um, like while you're watching it, you'll understand properly what I'm doing is simple steps to follow. Okay. So guys, I guess you're understanding what I'm doing here. I'm just sewing down my kinky hair this way. Very easy step. Put it down and then use your needle and thread and sew it down. I'm just going to go same way till I'm done with the lace part. Okay, just the lace part. Sew it through the lace part and the ear part, okay? So this is it. I'll still go ahead and sew down this side this side to the F part and here we are I'm just sewing it down and here we are so the next step to take is to cut trim the front part a bit so that it won't be bulky 
stream it a bit not like you cut out everything just stream it a bit so that the front part won't be very bulky although i like my local tube to be very hairy not very low low but all the same the front should not be too bulky than the back you get so when you're done with that just flip the hair over like so okay very easy flip the hair over like so and then use your needle and your thread and start sewing now guys to make the hair more real just drag out a bit of hair in the front drag it out like so with your needle drag it out before sewing drag out the hair like so as you can see me doing just drag it out very simple when you are done doing that you can start sewing it down now it's that simple i'm gonna just go ahead and sew 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 stitch it down sew in a way that your thread will not show okay as you can see the way i'm sewing the thread will not show at all okay it's that simple so patch up everything that the no cap will be showing okay and secondly don't drag the hair don't drag the hair so that it will it, it will look very natural and it will look very flat it will look very low low don't drag the empty hair just put your hand on it like so and then sew it don't drag it while sewing just patch it up sew it flip over sew it it's that simple okay <music> So guys, we are done sewing out everything and this is what we have, okay? Now, the center part is what you should pay attention to. Make sure everything is straight. In case there are some hairs coming in between the pattern, use your scissors and trim it down to look neat, okay? And when you are done with that, the next step to take is to sew down the front. Those parts will drag that while you are making the weave. You have to use your needle and your thread to pack it down so that everything will lie flat in front of your hair, making the weave look natural on you, flat on your scalp. You get it. So, guys, after sewing it down, this is how your low cut weave should look like. Okay, this very next step is very important brush it through like this, brush the hair a bit, brush it up like you are dragging out hair from it. You get brush it brush it all of them not like totally brushing but just picking it up with your brush okay when you're done with that grab your scissors and trim it make sure all the hair are equal and your low cut wig is ready it's that simple like this is the fastest and easiest wig i've made so far and with one pack of rosemary kinky hair you can make like two low cut wigs two or three low cut wigs because it doesn't consume hair so guys we've come to the end of today's video and i hope my explanation was clear enough okay but if you still have any question on this local tweak or any of my video feel free to drop it on the comment box below and of course if these are the kind of content you love seeing i create content on wig making 
natural hair and lifestyle if these are the kind of content you love seeing click the subscribe bell to join the family and also my new subscribers shout out to you all my old subscribers shout out to you all we are increasing in numbers and i'm so grateful so guys uh we will be leaving now and to see you guys in my next one bye